This is Kings River Life Magazine, and we are in Fresno today after the Sisters in Crime meeting and speaking with mystery author Tony Piazza. And uh, you have a very interesting background. Why don't you share just a little bit about your background with TV and film? Well, I was very fortunate. My, my father was a liaison uh, for the city of San Francisco uh, starting in the late 1950s. And he worked with motion picture companies that came into the city. And uh, he worked with such great stars as Steve McQueen and uh, uh, also uh, Ironside, Raymond Burr, and quite a few shows. Eventually, I got involved and I became an extra stand in and did big parts. And worked with uh, Clint Eastwood and Magnum Force. And of course, the streets of San Francisco. I did standing work on that, and I was a standing for Michael Douglas, and uh, it, was a, it was a great opportunity. I really enjoyed it. And now you write mystery novels. How did that come about? Well, it started with the Turner Classic Movie site. Uh, I started blogging about my experiences working in films and television, and I decided well, I wanted to sort of fill in between. And one of the ways of doing that was to do something I always wanted to do, and that was to write a mystery story. So I serialized a mystery story uh, based in the 1940s because I knew the people on TCM enjoyed films uh, in that era. And, uh, and basically it was so popular that I decided to turn it into a book and then from there on I, I just became a regular author. And so tell us about your books, about your main character and what your series is, is like in the setting and such. Sure. Um, well, the, the Tom Logan series, as I call it, is set in the 1930s, and he's a detective uh, that's uh, based in Hollywood. And, of course, he gets involved with a lot of the classic actors and a lot of the mysteries of that period. Uh, I did one standalone book, which was uh, uh, Captain Ryan, I called him, and it was set in Hawaii and was based a lot on the cliffhanger type uh, serials that used to come out in the 30s and the 40s, so there's a lot of action and adventure. Uh, it's sort of a spy novel set on the Hawaiian Islands uh, around 1944, just, just shortly after Pearl Harbor. And what about your latest book? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, the latest book is a Tom Logan book as part of the series, and it's based on an actual uh, mystery that had occurred in 1935, which was the Thelma Todd uh, death. And I used that as a basis for the story, and it, there was just so much atmosphere and color behind it, and I thought this would be great to sort of interject Tom Logan into it and uh, make him uh, the protagonist of the story. And this book just came out recently? This or? one just came out at just the end of last year. And um, also, I guess I should mention, I did write one factual book, uh, which is only an e-book form, which was on Steve McQueen and, and my experiences with Steve McQueen uh, during the filming of Bullets. So I, I got four books out there right now. And what are the titles of the books? Okay, the uh, first one is Anything Short of Murder, which is the Tom Logan series. And uh, the second one is uh, Murder Amongst Angels. And then The Curse of the Crimson Dragon is the Captain Ryan series that's the sort of the spy novel set in Hawaii. And of course, Bullet Points, Memories of Steve McQueen and Bullet is the factual book that I've written for the books. And where can people find you online? Oh, you can find me at uh, www.authortonypiazza.com. You find all my blogs and books there. Of course, they're on Amazon, Barnes and & Nobles, and wherever fine books are sold. And what would be one fact that your readers would be surprised to learn about you? Ah, that's a tough question. <laughs> one fact. I think that maybe that I, 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 I love nostalgia, and maybe they're sort of surprised at, at that fact. I mean, I love things from the 1930s and the 1940s, and uh, I love old radio shows and serials and, and things like that. I'm not really caught up in contemporary things. And I, I, I sort of live in the past, and that's what I do a lot with my novels. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.